Hey everybody, what's going on? I'm Rob Sesternino, and I have a podcast where I talk about Survivor. And this week we have over three and a half hours of Survivor coverage about the most recent episode. But you're busy. That's why I made this. The least you need to know about episode five of Survivor, Blood vs. Water. All right, I guess we got to start here with this whole massage gate controversy. So the episode began with Laura Moret giving this massage to Otis, trying to work her way into this alliance of five, which we see at the tribe of returning players. There were some people that felt like this was kind of like a sexy massage. I didn't really see it that way. I thought it was kind of no big deal. Just it was Laura Moret trying to suck up to Otis and try to get in good graces with him. Ultimately, it does not work. And Otis is the one that decides, hey, we got to get rid of Laura Moret instead of Rupert's wife, Laura Boneham. I thought the move ultimately was a little too cute. I thought that Laura Boneham is somebody who could go and work with the tribe of new players because she doesn't have a loved one in the game anymore. And she could be somebody that works with them down the road as opposed to Laura Moret, who seemed like she was loyal to Otis. On the other hand, Stephen Fishback said he liked the move. He felt like it was a good idea to get rid of Laura Moret. Time will tell which was the right Laura to get rid of at this point in the game. So all season long, Candace had been at Redemption Island playing in all of these competitions like she had ice water in her veins, moving on every week. Ultimately, her luck runs out. She got joined by her husband, John Cody, and then finally by that third wheel, Brad Culpepper. And it's Brad Culpepper who's the one who's able to knock Candace off. So Candace has to now leave her husband still in the game, still at Redemption Island, and we'll see what John is able to do without Candace. We'll see what ends up happening with Brad Culpepper and John Cody at Redemption Island. Ultimately, it was Brad that voted John out of the tribe, but also Brad said, I think I can get this guy to trust me again. Chances are only one of these guys could potentially go back into the game, but we'll see without Candace if John and Brad are able to sort of reconcile their differences. And at the end of this week's episode, we're about a third of the way through this 39 day Survivor season. And I think it's time to sort of take a look back at Survivor Blood vs. Water. I think a lot of people ha didn't know what to expect from this season with all of these crazy twists, but I think we have to be pretty happy with the five episodes of this season that we've gotten so far. Now looking ahead to the second third of the season, it's going to be really interesting to see what ends up happening. It looks like there's going to be a swap this upcoming week, and then soon enough we're going to have a merge in the game. And the thing that to watch out for is not typically in a season we'd have okay there's one tribe has a numbers advantage they're gonna pick off the other tribe for the most part but now we've got all these loved ones so we've got this group of five which is Otis, Tyson, Jervis, Tina, and Monica, and you would say, okay, well, that group of five will probably stick together with the veterans, and then they'll pick off the people from the other tribe of the loved ones. But don't forget that Otis has his brother Vetus, and Tina has her daughter Katie on that tribe. So at what point will the tribe of veterans start targeting other veterans instead of going after the loved ones of the people that are in the five? It's going to be really interesting to watch exactly how this all comes together over the second third of the season. So this short, short recap, whet your appetite for more Survivor coverage. We've got a lot of stuff for you to check out on robhasawebsite.com. Of course, we have the big Survivor Know-It-Alls podcast with Stephen Fishback. That was about an hour going through everything that happened on this week's episode. Of course, I also talked to Candice Cody, and we got her take on everything that was happening in the game from her vantage point on Redemption Island. And then we did our full Survivor interview podcast with John Fincher, who uh, felt as though uh, Laura M. rubs him the wrong way. And he had a lot to say about her and what he thinks of her and her game and all of the massage gate controversy on that podcast. So I really appreciate hearing from you guys. I love getting the comments. And if you'd like to do so and make sure you never miss an episode, please subscribe to my YouTube channel uh, by clicking the button on this video. So until next time, this is the least you need to know about Survivor Blood vs. Water.